Hello, welcome to the next session of this course, System Value Verification, Learning More Test Engine Constructs. In this video, you will be learning more about System Verilog Interfaces. The feature interface is something which is not present in Verilog language, but it is added to System Verilog. So it is a widely used, a powerful feature for both design as well as verification code. And uh, we will see how we can use System Verilog Interfaces for design and verification in this module. So interface is used to uh, name a bundle of nets or wires together. So uh, you can imagine an interface as something if something similar to a physical interface which will have different sub signals or supports in it. So if you wanted to bundle them together or all the signals together and access them together, you can use system verilog interface. So imagine you have an a DUT which is dealing with AXA protocol. So these are the signals in a single AXI channel called AXA right channel, right address channel. So you can see that there are many, many, a lot of signals present here. Now if you're building a DUT or test bench, uh, which is using AXA interface, and there could be several sub, uh, sub modules in the design, which is using this, uh, uh, the same, same AXA signals, which wanted to propagate from uh, the AXA signals uh, from top till uh, all the bottom, bottom units. So in all the places you wanted to explicitly write all these signals again and again, wherever you wanted to specify uh, these interfaces, I mean these interface signals. So instead of that, what you can use is you can define a system verilog interface. So if you define a system verilog interface like this, instead of individually selecting all or listing all the signals in the module ports, you can uh, ex just you can give the name of the interface that you have written here as the module port. So we will see more about the usage in the coming sessions. Interface is a powerful mechanism which can be used widely across in these scenarios when, where you wanted to connect sub modules in the in the design or in the RTL code, or when you wanted to connect your design code and TB code together, or also if you wanted to reuse the TB components across different, across different hierarchies like different sub modules, clusters and top level unit. So we will straight away go to an example of writing an interface and using it in the test bench and the design code. But note that this is not the final code for uh, using interface in test bench. We need to do some more addition to the interface and as well as to the test bench code which we will which we'll see in the coming sessions. So this is just a starting point. So uh, the first block, block is defining an interface uh, which is naming as a simple interface and uh, it just got a clocking signal as input and it got two uh, uh, logic members like request and grant. So these are the signals that is listed in the interface and note that this is of type logic here. We are not specifying any directions here. It is not input here. It is not output here. It is just a logic direction here. It's a just logic signal here. And in the design module or in the RTL module, um, you can pass this interface as an argument. Instead of individually passing the request and grant signal, you just need to pass the interface, interface name here and its, its instance here. So uh, this is of type, this INDF is of type symbol interface. So once you have passed your interface uh, as a, a port list into the design or into a module, you can use it, uh, use ac access the individual signals of this interface with a dot operator. So it will be like uh, intf dot request equal to equal to one. You can assign intf dot grant equal to equal to one and something like that. So you will be accessing the individual signals within the interface using a dot operator. And now in the test bench. What you need to do is you need to define another uh, instance of this interface uh, which is local to this test bench. So you can see that symbol in symbol interface uh, its its instance is defined like uh, tb underscore with the name tb underscore indf. So it is very similar to instantiating a module. So you need to instantiate the interface as well. This uh, design module is instantiated within the test bench like uh, with the name design d1, and uh, to its instantiation we are passing. Uh, the interface instance as db instance. So you can um, see that this is very much similar to you explicitly connect uh, as a port signal. So in the same way you can explicitly connect an interface as well. But these should be of the same type of same type here. 
So after uh, creating an instance of the uh, interface within the test bench and connecting it to the DUT, what you need to do is you need to drive signals into this um, local instance of the interface. So it can be done something similar to here uh, in some any procedural block at uh, positive edge of this interface dot clock signal. You can drive signal like TB INDF dot request uh, is assigned with uh, value one using a non-blocking assignment. So this is how you can define interface and use them in design and TB module. If you wanted to access the individual signals of the interface, you need to use the dot operate. So here see in a simplest example of defining an interface and using them in a design and test bench. But in the coming session, you will be learning more about interfaces and finally you'll be able to write a complex interface. Uh, not a complex interface, a complete interface which can be uh, modeled, which can be reused across design and test bench and across hierarchies.